I'm back. <laughs> it has been such a long time. I'm so glad to be back. And this is my first endeavor. And this this is part of the designer series paper. And it, it's an ombre effect. And it just goes along there. So I thought I will just use that instead of throwing it away. Because what can you do with that? So, I started with the Bright and Beautiful Designer Series paper. And it's the ombre one that I did with this. Does it have stars on the back of it? Not that one. There's so many of them here. I think. Nope, that's not it. Oh, maybe it is. It has stars on the back of it. Yes, that's it. So I cut off down here. This is four inches that I kept, and this is two inches that I cut off. And then I cut this down to five and a quarter and by four. So that's what I did. And I used the fern. 3D embossing folder on the back. I hope you can see it. And then I used Lifetime of Love, this set here. And I did, I used the dies. I used this one here, that. And I used that one and I used that one to cut out what I stamped. Okay, so I'll put that, this over here. Now I use the sketch butterflies. I use this one and this one, and this one you have to cut out on it, its own because there are no, uh, there's no die cut for that. But there's a die cut for this one, and that's all I used of the sketch butterfly. Now I used May the Lord Bless You and Keep You from the Courage and Faith. I used, this is um, Layers of Beauty Dyes, and I used this one and this one. And then I used the nested label, I used the largest one. Uh, I think that's it. Now I've got to put those away so they're not in my way. I use the Baker's Twine three color pack, the Lemon Lolly, and I use the basic rhinestones. And I think that's everything that I used, so now I will get started. I was hoping to get back here a lot sooner than I am, but things don't work out that way. My leg still swells. I had uh, knee replacement surgery at the end of May, and I'm still dealing with swelling uh, in the leg when it's it's down. Like if I keep it up, or you know, do normal around the house, but sit down in between, put my leg up, then it's fine. But if I'm sitting at my desk, it starts swelling. And uh, last time when I had the other knee done, I did that once too early and it swelled up and it wouldn't go down for absolute months, which is very hard to handle. So I was very careful this time and didn't overdo it. And soon as I could come down, with bending my knee on the, uh, I have a, oh, uh, a stair left because I have, I've had hip and knee issues for years. And so it just, it's just a big help. So to come and back to, but anyways, once I, was able to come down and my son-in-law had gone back to work because he was off with 
pneumonia. He had horrible and still ha is on medication. Went back to the doctor yesterday. It's been about a month. He, he was in the hospital about, oh goodness, four, four days. He, he was really sick and it's like he's downstairs. That's where my desk is. I don't need to get sick on top of what ha on top of the surgery and my leg swelling. It just said, okay, I will bide my time and when he's able to get back to work and I'm able to get down here and do a card, I will. So the other day I came down yesterday, I couldn't because everybody was home, it was their day off work. And since he's still sick, I don't want to get sick. I don't want to have any problems at all. So, I stayed away <laughs> when he's down here. <laughs> Which is probably a really smart thing to do, but yeah. Poor guy. He's, he's had a rough time. He's not used to being sick, and so this has been a major upset to him because he's the big, strong guy that nothing happens to, and to be knocked on his keister for this long was challenging for him. <laughs> Now I'm going to do the butterf butterfly on the envelope. You don't have to. You can just use the, um, like I did, the paper. But it, it it's whatever you want to do. There. I want to get this and put this in here just so that when it comes time to doing it, it's done. I don't have to worry about forgetting to put it in here. I like to do it when I uh, first do it, first stamp it. So now I have all my diddly stuff here. And this is dimensionaled up. So how's everybody doing? I hope you've been having a great summer. I hope your gardens are growing nicely. We've had we've been able to have oh quite a bit off our garden already, which is absolutely wonderful. Our leaf lettuce bolted, so that's gone and we're having cucumbers almost every day we have cucumbers and we've had a few zucchini not like I was hoping but anyways that's okay and I planted one area just a small little area and everything I planted <laughs> did not grow it got overtaken by tomatoes, volunteer tomatoes, and volunteer pumpkins. So the whole, and I, oh, I planted so many. I um, started them from, from seed, most of my plants, and um, it was a first time endeavor and they did really well. So I planted tomatoes in the right side, but these volunteers came up on the left side. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm gonna have tomatoes coming out my ears. There are so many tomatoes. <laughs> it's crazy, absolutely crazy, but that's okay, we will do a lot of canning and we will do a lot of pres uh, preserving of them 
and what we can't use we'll give to people that can use it which is one of the reasons I wanted to do uh, more than normal because I wanted to be able to help people now I have gone over this with the dark lemon uh, lemon lolly I got the wrong one for some reason I need yeah there it is um, if I want I just kind of hit and miss and like that and just kind of hit and miss in here I didn't want much of the dark color now on I switched it up on this one I put a little bit of the peach pie the light peach pie on the center flower but this one I'm doing the uh, light lemon lolly on the and I'm not hitting all the areas because I want it look like it's um, very very pale and so it's kind of what I've left the spot so it it's actually white but it looks very pale because I didn't want it solid I hope that makes sense so we're going to put this around here and before I do that I'm going to get this one this one is from the lifetime of love and now I'm just taking the third leaf off and I'm using my tweezers when I find them there they are and I'm using my small uh, needle nose glue and this is where I'm going to put this so this goes underneath and it goes around the words so it doesn't block any of the words and that goes down first now I'm going to, if I can find them, put that over there, my dimensionals. And I'm putting a dimensional here. And here. And I'm going to do one in here. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. Uh, oh, wait a minute, I got to take these off. Okay, I'm going to pick this up with this. It just makes it easier. And that I know is all on so yeah. my granddaughter is down here having a blast listening to stuff <laughs> now what I did is just like that and made it into pieces now what I'm doing is I'm going to put that there because that open spot 
is underneath. You cannot see it when I put it underneath. There we go. And there we go. It's down. So this one is going to go on this other side. I think I need to fill my bottle up again. It's taking a long time to get the glue to come down. Whoopsie. There we go. see here we go now I've I used this one and this one now I've cut that one off I don't need that one Oh my goodness. So how's everybody doing? I uh, hope you've had a wonderful summer. It has been, for the most part, nice here. I hope you've had the same kind of weather because it, it sure has been nice to go out and not freeze. I don't like <laughs> I really don't like winter. I am a summertime gal. I love the warm weather and uh, it makes the garden grow. <laughs> I just really like it. So I have been enjoying, once I could get, get outside, I have been enjoying it. Now I don't go outside and sit too long because it just makes it difficult for um, keeping my leg down. Oh, that was supposed to go up here. Up here. I guess it really didn't matter, but I need something in here. Like that. Now I'm gonna do this again. hope you're seeing what I'm doing. Now I'm going to take this one. Honestly, I lose things. I put them down and it's like, where did I put them? It's right there. It's just hidden by the, all, the, all the other stuff on my desk. So if you've been enjoying the new catalog, there's some beautiful items in the new catalog. Oh my goodness. I bought them but haven't been able to use them and it's like, mm. but I will be soon. I bought the um, birdhouse and that's on it. Well, hopefully it's on its way. It will be on its way soon if it isn't already. 
I bought it with the free shipping day, which was wonderful. I love free shipping. Okay. Now, get those off. Just easier if I take them off before I glue it. So I can glue it straight down. And you just don't want to get, oops, not yet. Ah, uh, there we are. It's just so much easier. If this goes on before the flower goes on, because then you know more where to put the flower. I almost screwed that up. There we go. Now you can see all the words, which is what I wanted. Now here we go again. I should have cut some of these ahead of time, but actually this helps you see how I'm doing it. And it doesn't take too long. So this one is going to go there or am I going to put it up here? Maybe there. So everything went good with my surgery. My surgeon is happy. I was in the hospital for a few days. Um, I was I had the, um, they put in a, a block, a nerve block, so that, because knee surgery is extremely painful, and they put the nerve block in so that it blocks the pain receptors, and you don't have as much problem with it. The, with the pain till you get that taken out and by the time you get it taken out it has calmed down considerably because the first night is pretty dicey and all these people are um, I'm I came out of the operating room and uh, they had accidentally pulled my block out nerve block so I thought I was going to get off easy I did not uh, everybody else had their nerve block and they were able to get up and go and do things and I couldn't because I didn't have it so I didn't get to move my leg and my knee and do all that stuff to get it going right at first because of the pain and everything that I was going through and so that set me back and then I was in a merge all night because they had no beds on the floor well if you've ever s slept on a stretcher you know you don't sleep so you're up almost all night with the pain and um, because the bed is horrendous and I just I had to use the I hate hate it but the bedpan because it's so hard to get in and out of that stretcher when 
use you're in a, a, a uh, when you're in the stretcher so I was in the stretcher well from when I got out of surgery all night all day till about six the next day and I tell me I yep um, ma'am is doing a video sweetheart sorry about that everybody was upstairs and not in the house and all of a sudden they're back in here but anyways um, so I had to use the bedpan and like for other times I've not used it I've been able to get up and do it on my own and because I hate the bedpan well it did not work in my favor this time and as soon as I got up to the room which yeah. seemed like forever that I was never going to get a room one lady never did get a room she went home the next day and uh, she never got to sleep in an actual bed so she probably didn't sleep much because <laughs> they're awful they're just awful but anyways then um, I had problems with they I assumed because they had told me that I was getting all the pain medication I could get and they were bringing it to me when I could get it so it's like okay I won't call even if I'm in pain because I am getting everything I can possibly get and uh, so I didn't have any pain medication all night long well the next day soon as soon as I start to move I had a pain um, what they called it um, hmm I can't think of what they called it but it was uh, a pain crisis yeah that's what it was it was awful so by the time you get this pain crisis under control you can't go home and then so that happened uh, Saturday and I was supposed to go home Sunday I'm supposed to go home Saturday but yeah whatever and then on sun Saturday night same thing and so I had a wonderful nurse, absolutely wonderful nurse, but she was on days and this happened at night. And I said, what is happening? Why? Because this is, I'm struggling with more than when I first had the surgery. And she said, she went and checked it out. She comes running in and she says, Cheryl, they haven't been giving you your pain meds all night long they don't give you pain meds she says I fixed it you don't have to worry about it they will be giving you their pain meds but set your alarm <laughs> so I set my alarm and called them and they said yep we're we're on our way we were just getting your pain meds ready and uh, so then I got to go home the next day but I had to stay two extra days because somebody didn't give me any pain medication through the night and as soon as I started moving then I had a pain crisis I didn't know there was such a thing as a pain crisis but um, even everybody came in as you can't go home and I'm like why not and they're like because you had a this pain crisis and you have to be totally uh, under control for a few hours before you can go home with the pain and I'm like oh crap but anyways this is dark peach pie this is such a gorgeous color
It's a peach pie color. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Now I'm just doing like this. And doing the body so I got to come home on Monday several days later <laughs> and uh, had to go for physio um, in a week so that meant I went on Thursday three days after I got home and uh, had fun with physio but uh, after many weeks my leg bends where it's supposed to and does what it's supposed to while well, I'm two two degrees away I think from what I'm supposed to be but that's because because when they measure, they measure on, um, you have to bend your knee on um, like a table. You're on a, a bed and they, you have to pull your knee towards you so that your butts and your heel come t towards each other. Well, I do that, but at home I can pull it because I use a skateboard. And you, the skateboard moves, whereas my heel doesn't move. It gets to a certain spot, and I can't pull it any farther because it won't slide. If I could get it to slide farther, I'd have to pick it up and pull it towards me. And I just didn't have that um, ability to do that. So I was at 117, and I'm supposed to be at 120. But I'm sure if I could have got my heel to move, it would have been there. So I'm, I'm saying that it was there, but it's so close. It's like everybody was happy. I was happy. It was uh, all the physios done now. Me going. I have to keep doing physio. I ask how long six to nine months you could even do it to a year it's up to you and I'm thinking a year physio do that might not be happening <laughs> oh my goodness that's a long time to continue I did not do that with my left leg or knee I know I didn't but yeah it is what it is and I will do it as long as I do it <laughs> I guess I'm a little stubborn in that department it's crazy I was shocked I know I didn't do it I probably did it three months the other time Oh yeah, I know I did it to three months. I had to do it to three months for sure. Because I still had to go see the surgeon at three months. I don't have to go to the surgeon now till um, a year. That's the first time. And I'm going to use eight inches of this lemon lolly. Approximately. I'm just doing it while it's attached because it's just easy. And I don't lose any ribbon that way, twine. Now I'm gonna take a glue dot and I am going to take my pokey tool and I am going to make a ball here and it's going to go right in there 
because my lemon lolly bow is going to go right there too. So I am going to cut this off a little bit. Aren't these butterflies just adorable? I think they're just the cutest. Put this back in with my three, uh, two other colors. Now I'm getting the rhinestones out and I'm gonna use my take your pick tool put these on. I'm going to use three. And then I'm going to use my, hopefully I've got some Wink Stella left. And I'm going to do my butterflies. Just to give them a little bit of life. think that's on there. Yep. There we go. There. So what do you think? I think I'm going to do a little bit of this just to give this a lift. Because now that I've got it down, I think it needs just a little bit of color. What do you think? I think that looks a little bit better. Now I'm going to lemon lolly and blend that in. I think that looks better. What do you think? My goodness, I've got quite the mess here. I'm gonna show both envelopes and my card, or so what do you think of my card? Please let me know what you think. It's so good to be back. Thank you so much for being here. If you could like, share, comment on my video, the even if you just like the video, um, it just helps with the algorithm to get my videos out there. And subscribe costs you nothing. If you could subscribe, that would be wonderful. Thank you so much. Bye now.